everybody! Welcome to Eco Arts Class, where we always learn something cool about the planet and make an awesome art project together. I'm Miss Rachel, your Eco Arts teacher, and today I am at the Pacific Ocean. Can you hear it? Check out this view. This is my friend Fishy, the fish hat, and he's going to help us with our art project today. Fishy loves oceans, especially coral reefs. There are so many reasons to love the ocean, and your experience of the ocean may be mostly being at the beach and playing in the waves, but there's so much more going on beneath the surface. Lots of little fishies swimming around down there. In fact, one of the most important habitats for fish to live in are coral reefs, and I'll tell you why. Coral reefs are important habitats for underwater plants and animals. Corals are sea animals that stay in one place throughout their entire adult lives. A coral reef is made up of thousands of coral polyps, which are actually tiny animals. Algae and the tiny animal polyps grow together, and this is what creates a large structure called a coral reef. Coral reefs are home to thousands of species of plants and animals. They're great for small fish because they can hide in the coral, away from larger fish that want to eat them. It's often hard to spot all the small creatures hiding in the reefs which is why it's going to be so fun to hide our shapes in our coral drawing. That's right, so for our art project today, we're gonna take Fishy the fish hat, we're gonna put him in a coral reef. You can color him whatever color you want. See here? I colored him pink and yellow. And because the ocean is full of hidden plants and animals, we're gonna hide some shapes in our art project today. So if you're ready to draw and have fun coloring, grab your art supplies and let's get started. For this art project, you'll need two sheets of white paper, a black marker, and brightly colored crayons or oil pastels. You can use a pencil too if you'd like. Okay, to start this art project, we're going to draw some shapes. I'm going to use a marker, but you can use a pencil if you want. We're going to hide these shapes in our coral reef drawing so that later you can show this piece of paper to your family and friends so they know what to look for. I'll start off by drawing a circle like this. A big curved line that goes all the way around. Just like this. There! Now we have a circle. Now let's draw a square. A square has four lines that are all the same size. So draw four lines just like this. One, two, three, and four. Awesome! Now we have a square. Now let's draw a triangle. A triangle has two sides that join at a point and a line at the bottom to connect them. Just like this. There! Now we have a triangle. Next, let's draw a diamond. A diamond has two lines that join at a point at the top and two lines that join at the point at the bottom. There! Now we have a diamond. Next, let's draw a heart. A heart has two curved lines that come to a point at the bottom. There, we have a heart. Okay, for our last shape, let's draw a star. A star is a bit more difficult. Let's draw two lines that come to a point like this, like the triangle. And two more lines out horizontally like this. Then draw two diagonal lines that come in towards the center and a vertical line that goes straight down, another top of the triangle shape, and a line to connect it all. There we go! You can use this page to keep practicing more shapes if you want to. Once you've finished practicing shapes, 
Grab another sheet of white paper to draw your coral reef scene. To create your coral reef outline, draw a bunch of half circles on the bottom of your page. A half circle is just a line that comes up like this and then back down. Do it again and keep making different sizes. I'm going to make a wavy line right here and I'll make a long skinny half circle in the back. You can make these lines whatever feels good to you. We're going to decorate these later, but make sure that you make different sizes. I think I'll do another long skinny one right here and another half circle shape right about here. All right, there we go. Now I want to draw some seaweed with a curvy S shape that comes to a point like this and then back down. I'll continue to do this a few times here. Seaweed provides nutrients and energy for many underwater sea creatures. I think I'll add some on the other side too. Great! Now I'm going to draw Fishy the fish. I may even hide a few of my shapes right here. So I'll start with a curved line for the top of the body and the exact same line in the opposite direction for the bottom of the body. Great! Now the fish's lips look like a sideways heart to me, so I'm going to hide my heart shape right in the fishy's mouth, like this. I bet it will be hard to find this one. Now, I think I'll hide a sideways triangle in the fishy's tail, like this. There we go. And while we're at it, I'm going to make two more triangles for the fins, one on top and one on bottom. Now I'm going to draw circles for the eyeball. There we go. You can draw fishy with any kinds of patterns and colors that you'd like, making him a tropical fish. I just drew a few easy stripes. Now you can have fun decorating your coral with all kinds of lines, shapes, and patterns. Don't forget to hide each shape we practice inside your drawing somewhere it can be anywhere. I'm just hiding a diamond shape right here. And now I'm just adding little decorations and practicing different shapes and patterns on each part of my coral reef. Now inside these little blob circles, I'm going to hide my squares. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. In fact, please feel free to make your own unique patterns and hide your shapes wherever you'd like. I think right here is a good place to hide my heart shape. And this seems like a great place to hide a star shape. I'm hiding a circle right here in this brain coral. And I'll draw some bubbles up here like this. Awesome! Now that we've finished drawing, Grab your brightly colored crayons or oil pastels for the next step. I like to use these neon oil pastels, but crayons work just fine for this project. If you have neon colors, even better. We really want our colors to pop. As I color it all in, I'm thinking about how to use as many colors as possible. So I ended up outlining a lot of the coral with one color and then filling it in with another color. I also just colored my hidden shapes the same color as my coral so that it's harder to find. Have fun coloring! And don't forget to color the background blue for the ocean. To color it in neatly, I ended up coloring a little bit around my coral first and then filled in the rest with blue. There we go. We did it. Yay. Wow, you guys, thank you so much for making this art project with me and Fishy. This was so much fun. 
I can't wait to see what you guys drew and please let me know if your friends and family found all the hidden shapes that you put inside your art projects. Email me at heyparachute at gmail.com so I can see what you guys made. All right, what's that fishy? Okay, Fishy's saying that he's ready to go for a swim, so we're gonna get going, but I'll see you guys next time. Bye!